so last month has been it's been a crazy last month actually <laughs> Uh, with a lot of activities happening in the ashram, like uh, celebrations were happening, uh, Kaveri calling was full on and uh, we had our own monthly meetings, weekly meetings and to keep up with the whole schedule was uh, itself, by, uh, itself is a task actually. Why so much activity? If there is no activity, how will people find their expression? If everybody became so meditative that they can just sit here and reverberate and touch the whole world, then no need for activity. Such a thing has not come yet. Very important that people get a possibility of doing something to touch something around them, otherwise they'll never touch life around them. The greatest fulfillment in life is to do something which is much larger than yourself. I'm a Kannadega, so I'm helping with uh, Kaveri calling Kannada stuff. I'm helping design posters and uh, holdings and banners. I feel very proud of the fact that uh, I get to be a very small part in a huge campaign like Kaveri calling. For me, it feels like I'm doing, giving something back to my own state which I never had the opportunity to do before. So initially when Kaveri calling was announced, uh, I remember being at home and I was like, okay, this is a social cause. Uh, I have never been associated with any social cause throughout my life, so I thought, okay, this is for others, not for me. Then eventually, uh, I came for Sadhana Pada, and as a part of Sadhana Pada, I was assigned legal department as my seva. I thought I'll come for Sadhana Pada, so I'll get a break from my legal profession, but I got the legal department. So as a part of the legal department's work, we were uh, supposed to do a lot of proposals and agreements uh, relating to Kaveri calling, and it was intense work. And I was just amazed the level of activity uh, we were putting in and after that uh, I had so much energy. Never at my place or at my office I have felt that level of energy. I think it's his grace which made it possible and it has been wonderful. Every month we have a monthly meeting for Sadhana Pada because we were able to look at our practices in, in, in detail. So I've made a few corrections. Uh, since then. Um, also, we get to watch the Sadhguru videos. Um, and I find with Sadhana Pada is there's a, there's a general tra trajectory on how we will grow over the next seven months. Everyone will grow different, but generally you'll grow in a certain way. When Sadhguru thinks we're receptive enough, there, there'll be a new process taught to us or something. Hear the fellow people that uh, share their experience here and I can see how different we are and I can appreciate that the methods that are given to us, offered to us, uh, works for one who struggles with one thing, works for another who has a different background, that we're so different but altogether it works. I think monthly meetings are the guiding lampposts I feel. Because every time you are a little diverted, there's a monthly meeting that happens and then you're back on track. I'm much more focused again and I know it better why I came here. When certain people approached Krishna and asked, Oh Master, what is the way? They say, you are a deliverer, so what is the way for us? Krishna looked at them quizzically and said, what is the way? I am the way. The whole idea and the whole process of what Krishna did was to celebrate the ordinary. God, the Krishna Janmashtami celebration was just so beautiful. I was able to dance, I got wet and it was just very nice. It was so colourful and I laughed my stomach out as if I was a child. I was able to experience the, the, the innocence within me uh, during uh, those celebrations.